Hey everybody, it's Jim Maritato, aka Vink Maniac on the internet and host of Extra Plasm Podcast. And even though I'm off camera, I'm back with another Kitchen Counter review. What's a Kitchen Counter review? It's a low production value review of an awesome high quality Ghostbusters collectible or toy. And in this case, we're taking a look at something that's both toyetic and collectible. We've got three new offerings from Phantasm Toys that amount to four new mini ghosts. Uh, and each of these are little collectible figures that you can use to extend your Kenner Real Ghostbusters line or your Hasbro Plasma Series line or any other, you know, Ghostbusters themed action figure line that you want to add characters to. And I routinely say this, that like we don't have enough figures from the Plasma Series that are actually ghosts other than build a figures. So the more the merrier. Uh, but I tend to think these are figures that fit really well alongside the lines with that, you know, original Kenner line, the Kenner classics, uh, the more contemporary Fright Features lines. These figures fit really well with all of those. Uh, and so they're good options if you want people to build out your base of ghosts for your collection. And we're going to take a look at all three of these individually. Uh, but I want to take a look first at the one that kind of excites me the most. And maybe that's the wrong thing to do and I should be building towards it. But look, I'm going to be real with you. As a person who's played over 1400 hours of Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, the minute that I saw this thing, I, I was amazed. Some of you right now are like, geez, that's a lot of time, Jim, 1400 hours. How many days is that? Don't calculate it. I'll just feel bad. But I will say that as a person who's played over 1400 hours of Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed, I will dub myself the foremost expert in what a, uh, a figure like this should look like, <laughs> because this is Blinky, a uh, figure who is inspired by Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed. Uh, one of the key ghosts in that game looks pretty much just like this. He's got several eyes on him. He has a mouth that has lots of teeth in it. And if you know what I'm talking about, I believe that figure's name is Winky in the game or the character. Uh, this is like a spot on representation of that ghost. He sort of became the uh, almost like mascot ghost for the game as one of the ones that was available when it first came out over a year and a half ago as one of the first ghosts you could play. And there has been like no you know, sparing detail here. If you take a look at this, Blinky has tons of little bumps and eyeballs all over him the same way that you might expect that the ghost in the game would. Um, and if you're a Spirits Unleashed player, if you're in a league, you need this figure. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. There is no other Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed inspired figure on the market today. And if you're waiting for Hasbro to do it, keep on waiting. Uh, it's not gonna be a thing that you're gonna see. I love this figure because to me, it reminds me of when Mattel decided to do the rookie figure, uh, which nobody would have ever expected that we were gonna get a video game inspired figure. But for many of us who played Ghostbusters the video game, it was much like Ghostbusters 3 until we got that movie for real. Uh, and to me, this has been, playing that game has been something that's been a fun experience for me that's had a lot of cooperative engagement with other people in the community. I've made some friends online playing it. And so this is a really cool thing that there's a figure out there that's been inspired by a thing I've spent so much time doing and if it wasn't cool enough like this base actually glows in the dark uh, well I'm not gonna flip the lights off in here at the moment because I'd have to make a camera cut and this is a low production review of uh, a low production value review after all um, I, this is a glow-in-the-dark base that's really awesome and it actually is a, a take on Tobin's spirit guide it won't show well on camera unfortunately given how it's embossed but you can see that if you look very carefully uh, you can make out the details of the etching of the cover of Tobin's spirit guide right on the book, which is really amazing. So um, I got to say, if you're a Spirits Unleashed player, you need this in your collection. There's probably not going to be another opportunity for you to grab a figure from this game, especially given that if you're a Spirits Unleashed player, you probably know that the game's been out for quite a while. So IP that's going to you know come out of it or branded merchandise that comes out of that IP is probably kind of sailed uh, at this point if it was going to happen. So I'm really stoked to see this and to know that Brendan and Tony over at Phantasm made this because I love it. And I'm hopeful that they may decide to uh, delve into some other figures from that game uh, because there's so many great options. Uh, and so if you haven't picked him up already, go over to phantasmtoys.com and check out Blinky because he's awesome. Um, and you, how, when else are you going to get a figure from a video game like Spirits Unleashed that so well represents the character? A uh, second thing we're going to take a look at here are Vinny and Zuli. And Vinny and Zuli are essentially terror pups. Uh, they are tiny versions of Vince, uh, of you know, Vince Clortho and Zul, uh, the key master and the gatekeeper, who bring about the coming of Gozer. And I think these are great because as much as I love, you know, other representations of these characters that are scary and spooky, these are like two little fun uh, guys that I just want to like put in some display case uh, on a castle or something. They're like two little gargoyles, but they also have this fun little kind of cartoon feeling to them. And we'll take a look at each of them so you can get some key details. But what I really dig here, of course, is that, you know, Phantasm doesn't leave anything out in terms of detail when they have to represent characters that I love. And so, of course, your terror dogs are anatomically correct. 
This one, of course, is Vin's. And this one is, of course, uh, Zul, because you know uh, that male terror dogs apparently have longer horns than female terror dogs, as has been anatomically established since the first Ghostbusters movie and will be forever. <laughs> but I digress. But I, I really love this, these figures because they remind me a lot of the gargoyles that came with my Eternia playset when I was a kid. They kind of were harbingers or sat on the uh, edge of the, of the moat and guarded it. And I like the idea that, you know, if you have, like, say, the um, the destruct destructor figure that Phantasm did, these little terror dogs kind of fit really well right alongside that. And they will probably do a larger terror dog figure at some point, because I know it's something they've talked about at a concept level and kind of tease concept art of at certain points. But I just think that, like, these are awesome because they go right next to a figure that is larger, you know, and kind of, like, sit not as, like, the main course, but as the little side pieces or appetizers that go alongside a larger figure. Uh, and so putting these next to their Destructor figure or another version of Gozer is a really cool idea. Uh, but, you know, other than that, you could put these guys, like, sitting on the edges of your Kenner firehouse, uh, you know, sort of, like, waiting to attack as if they showed up and were waiting for the Ghostbusters to come home, right? Because they look like little gargoyles and they blend right into that. Like, you could probably put these right in the windows of the Kenner firehouse and they would look great. So, uh, this is, again, this is Vinny and Zuli. They're available now from Phantasm Toys. They come as a pair, uh, so you're getting a set of two when you pick this up. And you can grab them, of course, as part of the things that are available. And then perhaps like the thing that was the most inspired by the fandom rather than anything else, which is a reason why I love this figure, is Parka Geist. Uh, Parka Geist, I mean, let's just say what it is. It's the crimson red coat that we've all been going nuts about since the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire trailer first dropped. And I think that he might actually represent the rabidness with which the fandom has sought to get red coats. <laughs> I don't really know that that's his backstory, but I kind of feel like it should be. Like, I kind of want Tony and Brendan to write a backstory for this figure that says that uh, the vehement craziness of all the fans over red parkas is what birthed this nightmare uh, of a red jacket. <laughs> and so it is, quite frankly, what would happen if one of the red coats from Ghostbusters Frozen Empire became possessed uh, and became a ghost. One of my favorite little inside baseball details about this thing is that the mouth on this is actually inspired by the mouth on the Kenner male fraud figure, uh, which Kenny, which uh, Tony talked about on Extra Plasma a few episodes back before these came out. Uh, and he was sort of suggesting that it was difficult to figure out what to do with this figure and what it should look like. And he looked at male fraud and went, wow, okay, that's what we should do with it. And so this, you kind of think about this almost as if like the ghost inside a male fraud, the mailman suddenly left him, stopped possessing him and decided he was cold and needed a coat. Um, so I think this is a great figure that has lots of cool little details. If you look, it's got eyes where right over here where you see these buttons uh, on the jacket. Those are the eyeballs. You got the mouth here. The pockets serve as little eyebrows on this figure. And I think that like one of my favorite little details about this is that you might think, okay, it's just the front of the figure. But no, like if you rotate him around, you'll notice that he, of course, needs to have a little no logo uh, on his shoulder there reaching up. <laughs> so that's kind of awesome. So sculpted all the way around here, really good details to kind of spell out what this figure looks like. And I, I haven't tried this yet, but one of the things I really want to try is if you take a look at this figure, he is actually not hollow all the way through, but he's got enough space uh, in the neck here where I kind of want to get one of those Kenner Fright features, or rather Hasbro Fright features figures, the new ones uh, that came out for uh, Frozen Empire and just pop the head off. <laughs> just shove it in there uh, to see what it looks like when the coat is trying to eat, you know, Gary Gruberson alive. <laughs> Might just be fun to do that for a few minutes. Uh, so. These are really great figures. You know, I always sing the praises of Phantasm Toys because they're great folks. Tony and Brendan over there do great work and they have a strong commitment to quality and a strong commitment to representing good figures that uh, really portray characters they love really well. And that really shines here as much as it always does with everything else. These three figures, or rather three sets of figures, four figures total, three options, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, are available now on phantasmtoys.com. You can grab them before they go away. You are probably seeing this video of the day it comes out is also the day that they may be going off the market because they're available for pre-order until Saturday, February 24th. Uh, so if you're watching this before then, act now, especially if you're a Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed player, because let's be real, you're probably not gonna ever get another option uh, for a Spirits Unleashed figure. And if you're like me and even playing, or if you're in a league or something, like it's a pretty cool thing to put on your shelf that represents part of your love of the Ghostbusters fandom and how you spend your time in the community. So uh, head over to phantasmtoys.com today and uh, thanks for tuning in to this Kitchen Counter Review.